What's up guys, welcome to your 169th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're just going to set up our renderer, uh, the basic framework, and just kind of render something, um, and just get something going. Um, and we'll just kind of talk about the methods that the renderer uses and what it's, what it's for, for the most part. But let's add that code, uh, that line of code I told you guys we need to add it within this tutorial for our uh, GL example class. And again, we set up that surface view called our surface, and all we're going to do is add a renderer to it. So we're going to say dot set renderer, and we're just going to say a new GL render a render ex, which is what we're creating. And there we go. Uh, just, um, basically, we're setting up a renderer that we're creating. Uh, this you know when I thought about making the classes name I was debating whether I should put the GL in front or not because this isn't uh, you know this is just a class that we made so just keep that in mind um, so that's what we need to set up now is this GL renderer example class so let's switch over to there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow this class to implement uh, a renderer so we're just gonna say implements renderer so we get all of the methods available to us and then we just have to, you know, import this and add the implement methods, unimplemented methods. And we have three methods that we can work with. I'm just going to change the order of these because it's just uh, more convenient for me. So I'm just going to cut this one and paste it above top where we have our service created. And we're just going to change some of these variables uh, just so it's more familiar. We're going to change this one to GL. We're going to change this one to uh, EGL config. As well as for this second method, which is our draw method to GL. And some of some of you guys might already have these uh, names as as I'm displaying them here. But uh, if you do, you can just skip that. I'm just going to say GL for that. For again for a GL10 object, and we're also going to change this one to uh, width and this one to height so there we go we have the basic framework of our renderer set up now let's just talk about what these methods do when they get called and all that good stuff so obviously our surface created gets called when our renderer gets created and we get this GL10 object which I'll talk about more um, as you can see all of the classes get that uh, get that object to work with so that's pretty important which we're gonna get into in more depth later but um, as for now just the basic framework of the methods here again our surface when our surface view gets created it calls this method to set up some of the basics that we want our renderer to handle like we can set and if you guys have worked with like 3d graphics before um, like blender or uh, 3d studio max whatever um, basically, there is this is where we set our camera. Like when you render, you can have it render smooth, or you can view it while you're making it um, as smooth, and uh, you know all that kind of stuff. That's where we set up um, our render uh, basics, the you know the on create kind of stuff within this on surface created method. This on draw frame method is where we have the fun, where we you know change. This is basically like our canvas and our on draw. Um, or where we unlocked our canvas and we like painted some stuff to it and then we locked it back up again that's kind of what this is um, this is what's going to get refreshed over and over so if we want to change stuff it's going to happen within this draw frame um, so that's pretty basic this on surface created method is if or I'm sorry on this on surface changed method is if we go from like landscape to you know portrait it's going to change the basically the way everything's been set up so it's gonna call this method and see if we want to you know handle that somehow 